Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Foxhole. This is KB. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to say thank you. We have a few new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to the group, to the community, to the club, to the den. I don't know. I'm kind of working on it. Anyway, um, I was so inspired by the recent development with the LuLaRoe documentary on YouTube that Vice released and all of the legal work going on uh, with LuLaRoe and getting sued by the state of Washington and everything like that. So I have been inspired by that and decided to do a solely dedicated LuLaRoe video. At one, some point soon in the future, I do want to do an in-depth LuLaRoe video, kind of going into the structure of all that. But today, we're just going to laugh at the patterns. We're going to laugh at the cuts, at the horrible shapes and styles. And we're we're going to feel better about ourselves when we're done. It's, it's going to be great. I'm really excited. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please stay tuned and uh, let's look at some garbage. As I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, probably already know this, but LuLaRoe is in some deep, deep doo-doo. Uh, so deep that the owners might have no choice but to run off with their billions and buy an island where nobody can touch them. That might be what happens, folks. Anyway, what's the sad part is, is that they have these people, that they're consultants, right? I think they call them coaches or mentors, right? Every MLM has like um, names for their for their levels. There's like Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and then I believe LuLaRoe does that coach, mentor, teacher, I don't know, something kind of like that. But the sad part is, is that those are regular people. They're like regular moms, you know, and they are losing thousands of dollars. They are literally throwing in the, t literally, oh no, folks, it's happened to me. I've spent too long in this MLM world. Ugh. Anyway, these people are actually losing everything they own. Um, they are losing all the money they've invested. I mean, I was reading somewhere that it costs a minimum of five grand just to buy into LuLaRoe in the beginning, just to buy in to get your initial stock or whatever. It's just really sad. And you know that these people aren't gonna make, they're not even gonna make half. They're not even gonna make a third of it back. They're gonna be lucky if they get a quarter or less. They're gonna just, oh, I just hope that they all learn their lesson from this one, I really do. It's just, it's sad, like it's, it makes me excited, but also really sad. Does that happen to you too? <laughs> this r slash Lula no subreddit is Wonderful. <laughs> Completely wonderful. Okay. The look of insanity. Cost $1.75. Shirt sold separately. Okay. And then the text below the photo says, Getting creative makes for some super cute styling ideas. These are quarters made to appear as buttons on my oversized Randy. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. me forever to figure out if this is the front or the back of this person. I, oh, and the leggings. Oh, no. Those patterns are just... Mm, yeah, that goes together. Sure, yeah. Just just F it up, fam. It's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, so those are quarters, folks. Um, apparently, she stitched quarters into it to for her oversized Randy. So I guess she bought a shirt that was too big and had to make it work somehow, I guess. <laughs> I feel so bad for this person. Oh, I do. I hope she's okay. <laughs> I hope she got some money back. <laughs> How do you prefer your pork products? <laughs> I mean, you got pigs for every kind of season there you know you got little piggies with wings you have like tie-dye kind of weird green piggies and you have Halloween piggies and then you have realistic piggies <sighs> again great clothing items for a kindergarten school teacher or something of that kind of ilk you know what I mean <laughs> a daycare a uh, person, a uh, worker, a daycare worker, I could see them wearing little piggy leggings on Halloween, you know, I could see that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this, you guys. <laughs> Another case of LuLaRoe being found in your local Goodwill and or thrift store. 
When I go thrifting, I like to play the game, Is It LuLaRoe? where I find ugly patterns and guess if it's LuLaRoe or not. Today, I was five for five. <laughs> So she posted some photos. I was hoping she would have posted all five that she had found, but she posted at least three. So here's the first one. <laughs> and then she found these two happened to also be LuLaRoe. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> also good to note how faded the pair on the right is. And I, I'm curious how, uh, how long the previous owner actually had those. That's another thing you hear about. Not only do they rip, but those beautiful bright colors don't really stay. <laughs> they don't stand the test of time. <laughs> much like that style of legging in general <laughs> I mean I love leggings don't get me wrong I wear them when I'm home and I'm not in my work clothes I am probably in leggings but they're mostly just like black or a solid color I mean no shade to anyone who wants to hang around their house and wear some <laughs> really cool pattern leggings like I get it or whatever it's just I don't know ever since I crossed into my 30s it's just not quite my bag anymore <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> And here we have a perfect example of LuLaRoe and their pattern fails. <laughs> I love the little caption up top. Perfect for when you want to emphasize one boob, just the one. <laughs> just the one. You want the one to be present and then you want the other one to just be like, part of the shirt, is it there? Does she have a second one? We don't know. And then, oh no, and if you look at the leggings, it looks like... It looks like monster trucks or tractors or something. Monster trucks on like a rainbow road. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel really bad for this lady. I'm sure she's a very nice woman, but let's be real. This outfit and if we want to call that a pattern, a pattern is really doing her no favors. Uh, it's doing her actually negative favors. I think she's like, yeah, she's below par now at this level oh man i hope she got out too <laughs> that's pretty much just what all of my, all of these come down to is in the end i think i'm just hoping all of these women got out of this okay and that they're fine <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> the new styles aren't any more flattering than the old styles <laughs> It looks like they've just upgraded from doing that weird like tunic top thing they're known for. Like they just took that tunic top and haphazardly sewed on a hood and like a crappy pocket on the front. <laughs> and LuLaRoe is known for being terrible about lining up their seams with their patterns. So I bet if we were to zoom in on this, we would see a lot of inconsistencies. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, she's got another tile where she's wearing more of them. <laughs> oh no, oh wow, you can really see in the bottom left one, the one in like the pink and blue stripey kind of like wannabe 90s sort of packy sack guy sweater. <laughs> you can see the pocket is completely off. The stitches, the seams, the stripes don't line up. It's like very distracting. My eye went straight to it and that looks awful. And then the black one, look back up in the top right, the black one is just a black sweater and they took a pocket with some pattern and just sewed it on. Ta-da! Oh no. Oh, and she's advertising them like she really is needing to sell them and she's not going to and oh, ouch. So in my deep diving into the LuLaRoe world, which I don't know if I'll ever be the same after this, <laughs> but they also have a series of what they call hacks. Now, these hacks are basically for if you just end up with a shirt that is 20 sizes too big or something, they have all of these ways that you can make it work. <laughs> and it's really weird logic. It kind of reminds me of how they have their leggings that keep having holes in them and they released a guide on how to properly wear their pants. They're like, it's not the clothes, it's you. It's not that the shirt we sent you is 20 sizes too big, it's that you don't know how to put it on right. <laughs> Tie it here. <laughs> if you look at this one, it's, wow. This LuLaRoe hacks video was about styling your Sarah. I'm assuming Sarah is the style of top. LuLaRoe likes to name their tops after women. Uh, in new and exciting ways. Not, as I thought from the thumbnail, a tutorial for a DIY lobster bib. 
I blurred out this girl's face. I don't know if she'd ever even see this or know it was here. But I just, it's just too embarrassing. It really does look like she's joking, like she's trolling. It doesn't look serious. I, I believe that it is serious. Unfortunately, I, I'm positive that she's really serious. <laughs> but I'm also positive that that looks awful. <laughs> I mean, what a great way to draw attention to the center of your chest. Let's just bundle up all the fabric right in between your boobs, just right in the middle. That's that's a really good look. That's the shape we're going for. Mmm, feminine. <laughs> okay, so this one, when I first saw it, really, I'm like, okay, have I been spammed? What have I found? <laughs> just stay with me here on this one. I promise it's worth it. Band of the arm. Bano up the abb <laughs> freedom from legible font. <laughs> so let's let's see what they're talking about. <laughs> Look at the L looks like a B. All the letters are just they have like extra loops. <laughs> like I can see why someone when they first read that would be like, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> and I love how the combination effect between. The bablant of the fur shirt with uh, the patterns on her leggings, and then that really, really nicely halfway installed carpet. <laughs> and then it's like she borrowed her boyfriend's fedora for the shot as well. Like, why not? Like, why not? I'm wearing the, the bablant of the fur shirt, so like, let's really just show him, honey. Let's put the fedora on the cowboy boots. Like, <laughs> America. I, I, I'm, I'm proud to be an American, but. Not when I see this photo. <laughs> and before we head out today, I just wanted to share a photo of my beloved dog, Tippy laying in the backyard in her favorite chair. This is about a month ago, so a little early spring in the Pacific Northwest. Nothing quite in bloom, but still nice and sunny. And I want to recommend to anybody who's looking to get a new uh, companion, a new love in their life, I would recommend to adopt, don't shop. Please go and support your local shelters, your local humane societies. There are so many little doggos in there that would just love to go home with you and make you the happiest person ever. And don't forget to please spay and neuter your pets. And with that PSA out of the way, thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It all really helps me. Any kind of feedback, feel free to comment. Let me know, is my voice okay? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? I'm, an, I'm a total noob to all of this, so any input will help. Thank you so much, everyone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little flash into the LuLaRoe world. Once again, I do want to do an in-depth LuLaRoe video at some point, kind of following the timeline of like their rise and their fall. That documentary was so fascinating. I just, I can't stop thinking about it. I totally want to talk about it more. So I will at some point, probably soon. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, folks. And until I see you in the next video, take care.